Greetings RC fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage. Today we have something a little bit different as you've probably seen by the thumbnail. We have this, which I recently picked up off Facebook Marketplace for the pricely sum of £10. And today I'm going to give you a run over of it. Now, this is a vintage RC car. It was made by Artin Europe GmbH, based in Germany. It is a Nissan 370Z, and by all the badging, etc., I believe it to be a licensed, uh, licensed body. It is model number 608001. It's 40 megahertz, it has a 9.6 volt NICAD battery pack, and it's one tenth scale. When I saw it online, I hoped that it would be the right size for me to use as a body for a body swap for my WPL D12 drift chassis, as I'm looking to build that. And as you know, those of you that have been following my channel for a while, I had got an AC Cobra body, but that was too small for it. This is too big, unfortunately. So today, I'm gonna to give you a go over of it, over the features of it. I'm going to turn it on and run it here on the bench. And then I'm going to take it outside and give it a run outside. The battery's on charge, so I'm gonna go and pull that, install it, and then be right back with you. Right, let's go over some of the features. Old style stick controller. See there the Artin logo. Batteries are in this. This you need to extend for the range. I have tested it. There you can see the details. And obviously the second hand, um, I bought it from Facebook Marketplace and as I say £10, I thought it's pretty amazing for what I've got here. Um, my friend Fonzie has a fondness for these types of vehicles and transferring them into um, hobby grade electronics, etc. Um, it's something I might attempt down the line. So there is a battery in there. Let's put that to one side. It came with the charger. Um, I, it had got battery charge in it. Um, I did test it and run it a little bit yesterday when I picked it up on my way back from my weekly shopping trip. And yeah, uh, the plug on it is one of these, which I think is what we call a Tamiya connector. I'm not certain on that because I'm more into my XD60s and my Dean's connectors and things like that these days. Well, that's that. I have fitted the battery into it and we'll move on to that in a second. Now let's move this forward and I've got it onto a, a tin to give it a basis off the ground so that when we're running it you'll be able to see things. The doors open on it and close their own accord. They don't lock to but with its age what do you expect? It has a full, and this thing's heavy, so please excuse me, interior. And I don't know whether you can see on video there, but just down here, I mean, it's got full door panels. It's got pedals in here. The stalk on the driving uh, column. Okay, it's the wrong side, and obviously the mirror this side is missing. Mirror that side is there. And again, let's see if we, how well you can see. Um, you see it's a two seater. On the back, all of the details, sorry about the rattling of the aerial. 350Z, the exhaust pipes, and round to the bonnet, 
hood for you Americans. And I couldn't work out how to charge this thing. I'd got the charger separate and I'm like, hang on a second. I eventually found out that it has an opening bonnet hood. And this area here, this detailed area here, actually hides the 9.6 volt NICAD battery pack which is should be charged up and connected so that's that there and then let's knock that back into there and that links in obviously it's had a bit of damage but I think it's in fantastic condition considering its age given this is at least 12 years old <coughs> probably older um, I say at least 12 year old because the company that made this or this was made for should I say went out of business on my birthday the 4th of March in the year 2008 so you've got the opening doors you've got the full internal you've got the opening bonnet hood for the Americans you've got engine bay with a battery cover it's got lights sounds indicators um, <coughs> I can find virtually nothing out about this car online. Art in Europe uh, was in business from 2001 uh, till its closure on the 4th of March 2008 and it was the end of 2001. I can only find two videos on YouTube and one is a different model to this. It's a silver um, 350Z um, with race deco and a spoiler. The one that is this model is only six seconds long. So hopefully um, my viewers will be able to find some more information and we can find out some more about this now i'll turn it on and we'll do some runs on the bench and show you the lights and things like that working right i realized i hadn't shown you the underside i'll do that and turn it on so we've got a little bit of suspension in the rear here not a lot um, I haven't taken the screws out and taken it apart because I don't see the point at this stage. I initially thought this area here was where the battery was hidden. Um, but yeah, so you can see full mock exhaust muffler uh, in there. Uh, the wheels, there is a diff in there. Um, it's only two wheel drive, so it should drift uh, this switch here turns it on and now I'll be quiet while you listen to its startup procedure So in reverse, it beeps and should have lights. So lights and beeping in reverse. Forwards. The headlights so if I go forward slightly the indicators Sorry about the background noise, but that only works when it's um, actually running. Uh, so if you're going straight line, both of the front lights are on. If you're turning left or right, only one will uh, turn on. Quickly looking at the rear. So we've got rear lights. And you've got turn indicators. 
So, I'd like to find out how much this vehicle was new, um, but obviously that's been very hard information to find out. Let me turn it off. Because that noise is a little bit annoying in here. Um, so that's it for the bench segment. Um, once the weather is right outside, I'm going to take it outside and give it a run round. Um, try and keep it as close as I can to the camera um, because due to the nature of this, I can't really one-handed drive it. Um, unless I can find a way to clamp my camera onto the controller. But we'll again look at that and see if I can find a way to do that because that may be easier. Um, anyway, we'll get on to that. Right, I've turned it on. I've managed to clamp the uh, camera onto the controller and we'll see what we can film. Right, interrupted by the neighbours, but that's actually a good thing because I think the aerial was um, causing problems there with um, it showing the car in focus. So let's hopefully track this. Doesn't cope very well on the gravel, but uh, I reckon if it's a bit wetter out here
Oops. Beached it. <laughs> So even as it is, it's a fun little thing. Now, upgrading this from 40 hertz to 2.4 gigahertz. Locking those rear diffs. I think this could be a bit of a drift beast. I say sorry about the filming, but uh, Yeah, I think the battery's running a bit low. But there again, I don't know how much charge I'd put in it. I, I put some in this morning and got a bit in. I used it a bit yesterday. See if I can get any of those Tomley style. Oh, straight between my legs, shots. So there you go folks, the Artin 350Z, model number 608001. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, stick the notification bell on. And anybody who has any more information on the company or the model, I would be very interested to find out. Catch you all next time.